One, two, three, four. A limited. So can any of you guys dance? We're kicking it old school. Right dancing fool. What are you thinking, man? Catch up to the new millennium. But these moves? Anything that I'd be surprised to know about you guys? Like I posed in Playgirl magazine, maybe? Just can't hang. That's a good one. That's a real good one. I'm sure they didn't have you in February. Yeah. The shortest one. Three get the axe, one gets the date. I'm thoroughly convinced that I'm on a date with three monkeys wearing tank tops. It all starts now. A limited. One, two, three, four. A limited. <laughs> I'm Denise, I'm a bartender and a waitress at the hottest gentleman's club in Philadelphia. I never thought of dancing. I have an edge over the girls because I use my personality and my looks to get what I want from men, and I do just as well. I have a hard time being faithful. You know, I live in Philly, there's so many guys here, and you know, too many guys, there's just not enough time. I'm looking for a man that is very well endowed, that can take care of me, and somebody that can make me want to keep coming back to him. ready to meet the guys for my date. We're at beautiful Main Street in Maniunk, and it's getting a little hot as we speak, so hopefully we'll get some of the guys to take their clothes off. If things start to get a little scary, I always have the reserve. I have the eight-pack stomach, I got the pecs. They're nice and toned and hard, and especially I got the biceps. My name is Robert, and I manage a restaurant down in Old City, Philadelphia, which is the hottest spot to go to. Hello. Hi. How are you? What's your name? Robert. I'm Denise. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. My first thoughts of Denise when I walked up, I thought she was a, a gorgeous, gorgeous physical aspect, a beautiful creature that God created. When Robert came up, I thought he was cute. He had a very nice body. Um, he had a big smile on his face. He was real approachable. The first kiss is very important. If the girl's not a good kisser, I don't think the date's gonna work out. Hey, what's up? My name's Marty, and I'm a materials engineer. Pipes. Pipes, yeah. Why do they call you Pipes? Uh, hey, what's up? Oh, Marty. hi. How you doing? Hi. Denise, nice to meet you. How you doing? Denise was a hottie. That body is killing me. And with this heat just, oh, dripping off her, oh my gosh, just couldn't control myself. I don't know what these other guys are like, but I guarantee I'm smarter than them, no doubt about it. My name's Will, and I'm the coolest scientist in Philadelphia. Hi. Hi. I'm Will. Nice Hi, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Denise, nice to meet you. Hey guys. How are you? Will. Robert. If this show was a limisex rather than a limidate, I would win hands down. How are you? My name is Tommy. Tommy Gunn is a nickname. And this is why. Hey! hey you. Hi. How are you? Good. Wow, this is great. Just can't wait to get my hands on her. So, um, what do you guys do for a living? I'm a materials engineer. What about you? I work in Old City. I'm a restaurant manager. Hi. Yeah. What about you? I'm a scientist. I work for a pharmaceutical oh. company. Ooh. So, mm. yeah, I got some brains, guys. Yeah. Sorry. Jeez. I'm so Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> what do you, uh, what do you do, Tom? What do I do? At this point, I'm a facilities manager at a nightclub. Basically, make sure everything works. I, we, I deal with when acts come in and certain entertainment comes in. Not to mention, I make clothes. I do a bunch of things. Oh, you make clothes? Yeah. Well, that's always uh, yeah, right? good to know I, someone that I made these. Them. You like that? Tommy Gun Collection. Oh, you made them in the yeah. Tommy. Woo, Mr. Sweatpants. Wearing sweatpants when he's coming on the national TV. I don't know, man. Just change Probably the name to Dago Wear, man. Dago Wear? Dago Wear. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Paisan Wear. Ah, uh -huh. this guy. I love it. Tommy actually took that as a compliment. Dumbass. So I, we're gonna go get some ice cream and um, we'll get to know each other a little bit better. So, um, how come none of these have girlfriends? So it seems funner, man. Really? Yeah. So when was the last time that you did have a girlfriend? Uh, about a year ago. What about you? I work entirely too much to have a girlfriend right now. But I'm always on the look. Okay, what about you, man? Um, I enjoy dating, you know, I mean, uh, it's more fun to be single a lot of times, but... So let me answer this question. Oh, you guys had girls, you don't now, what happened? You said you're all single? No, I work in a bar, so... Try Nobody's to. married well, and divorced? Well, I work in a bar, too, uh -huh. does that mean it's I'm divorced. Guy I guess I'm the bad apple. You tell me. You're divorced? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know, the typical Italian guy. Loud, short, arrogant. Him with his little, little t-shirt, little sweatpants, I don't know, he definitely bugged me the most. We're gonna go over here in the shade, guys. I wanted to sit out under the trees and feel the breeze and just get to know each other. So, on a nice day like today, it'd probably be 
outside the pool, reading a book, drinking a glass of wine. I'm really into relaxing. What do you guys do to relax? Kind of the same thing. I like to swim by the pool. Just kind of chill. I actually like to motorcycle ride. You know, sit around with a nice, pretty woman next to me. A glass of wine I love. Very white. If it's winter, I like the red. Summertime, a little bit lighter, like a blush or maybe a white wine. So what about you, honey? On a day like this, I love to be on the beach, just writing the surf, reading the book, kind of jumping in the water and out. I just like to kick back, have a little barbecue. What do you like the barbecue? Chicken. Ribs, chicken. <laughs> Steak, anything. Big meat. Big meat. Yeah, I like big meat, too. No, big meat. Like a... Dee said she likes big meat. I knew I was right for her. How do you like to take care of a woman, like mentally, physically? Talking and listening to them, like picking up on cues. No, I don't want to. No, you kidding me? Why? But what that's a great way to learn about a woman, right? Yeah, if you're I divorced. Mean, so, extent. like, you know what? Just because I'm divorced doesn't mean I was a failure at my marriage. Okay, what is what, what is, is the divorce here? then? It's a failed marriage. Yeah, man. Tommy, I think you need to look up some of these words. So, can any of you guys dance? Yeah, great dancing though, man. Dancing. You like a guy who dances? I like a guy that's gonna go out and have a good time. Sure, not be like a lump in the street. Right, right. All right, Marty, uh, how'd you get into break dancing? Um, on the street? Yeah, basically, well, all my life, you know, watching all the hip hop videos and stuff like that, I saw. What was your favorite break dance movie? Mm. <laughs> no, I used to love to watch them. What was yeah. it? Breaking, breaking yeah, one, break and one, two, electric boogaloo, crush two, groove, two, all two. that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did yeah. you like practice in front of the TV? Yeah, I would try. You know, I break out my little cardboard, but until you get out there and you start meeting other breakers, you really can't learn anything. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna break dance? Yeah, he's yeah, going yeah, to break dance. You, gotta... you seem like an all right guy, but you're blowing it for yourself, man. You're blowing it. Cardboard, Adidas, no laces. Come on, Marty. Yeah! Go M squared! Oh, M turbo! Square. Oh! <laughs> MC squared! Yeah! He's good. All right, turbo. Uh, I thought of another word. He's got balls. Wait, break dancing fool. What are you thinking, man? Come on. This is like the 80s, man. Get out of here. Catch up to the new millennium. So how are you going to stop that? Yeah, who I has any... It, but I can't do it here or here. Well, let's see what you can do. Uh, you have no special talents uh, besides selling. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you gymnast? Are most of them She's into gymnasts, body piercings, and sewing. I think Tommy's on the wrong limit date. Okay, so bad. you said you could do a little break scene from the I could try. All right, well, let's I'll, I'll put myself out there on a limb and see what happens. flip like that out of nowhere. I've never done a flip like that. So I'll do a little <laughs> groundwork for you, all right? Oh, man. That's terrible. You know what? Okay, I am not a break dancer. Rob definitely made a cheap attempt at break dancing. Uh, you know, he just made a complete ass out of himself. I've been dancing my whole life, and he's not going to come up and just like try and get down with me like that. There's no competition. He can't hang. I feel with like I'm in the zoo. I got, I'm in wait, the monkey but cage. But I can't do it anywhere so, here. I have What's three the monkeys with me. I'm the zoo. I feel like I'm You're the ostrich. Don't read a book. I'm thoroughly convinced that I'm on a date with three monkeys wearing tank tops. <laughs> Coming up, who will Denise cut first? Will is definitely getting eliminated in this round. D is not feeling him, he's too sweet, he's too sensitive. Uh, I think that Tommy's gonna get cut this round. You know who I think is gonna get cut? It's between Marty and Will. Will. Eliminate. <laughs> who do you think Denise will eliminate first? Marty, Robert, Tommy, or Will? So, who do you guys think I'm gonna cut? I'm gonna have to go with Tommy. I'm gonna have to go with Will. Feeling Will? Back to the I was feeling man. Will too. I'm too much of a threat for you guys. That's what it is. Actually, I'm gonna cut Marty. Um, the break dancing is really, really good. No, it's no really, you break dance great. I think you have gorgeous eyes. It's just, you were a little bit more quiet. You didn't jump in there as much. Honestly, break dancing, it was nice and it was good, but. It's not gonna knock down my bedroom door. I should have answered some more questions, but it's cool, you know, maybe we'll run into each other on the street and something will happen. I mean, Marty barely uttered a word and I'm not gonna miss him at all. I don't think anyone else will either. Marty, the only thing I can say is quit the break dancing, man. She's gonna be missing out. I'm a real serious guy. I'm not afraid to commit. She's missing a good dancer. We can have a lot of fun. The other guys, they're no substance. In round two, I'm gonna bring them to Maniunk Brewery. You know, the ice cream was great, but now it's time to get down and dirty. Now it's time to see, you know, what they really can show me to impress me. First, let's make a toast. Let's make a toast to the beautiful woman that we're all here with. I agree. Okay? That's the only thing I agree with me on. 
Marty. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, definitely. Floyd Marty. <laughs> so, I'm just curious, guys. What were you guys like in high school? Like, I, was I know jock. I was like a little late bloomer. I really was wasn't a dating. Uh oh, it was a good time. Yeah, shock. pretty much. Right? Well, I guess he likes to think so. Yeah. Well, you can go anytime what, you, you want. Do you think that they don't want to play you? Pick you can go, man. You pick Whatever it. you want to do. Do you, you think that they don't I mean, like I'll bring it down to your speed. We could thumb wrestle. If that's thumb something wrestle. I can arm wrestle the outkick your body. The guy that kind of pretty much annoyed me the most the second round, I'm going to have to say Will. Trying to go over the edge with that nice guy thing. Girls like the nice guy, but not too nice, Will. I'm just curious. Anything like that somebody couldn't see on the outside? Anything that I'd be surprised to know about you guys? Like I posed in Playgirl magazine, maybe? He sews women's really? clothing. Is that right? That, that's, yeah. a, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Two things. One, I want to own my own restaurant and own my own chain of restaurants. The second thing you would never be surprised to find out about me is that I turned down Playgirl. Couldn't do it. Turn down Playgirl. Why not? No, you didn't have the equipment. Just like equipment. you, you they dreamt offered. this. They, wanted, they got the check ready to be mailed. I'd say not going to do it. Huh? Last thing I want is someone that I know picking that magazine up and that getting back to my mom. This guy Rob saying, oh, he didn't want to do Playgirl because of his mother or his parents finding out. Maybe just because he didn't have the equipment or whatever. But I did it. My parents know and they're perfectly happy with it. And hey, it's choice. Were you in like November 2000? November 2000? Is that all you did was the one? No, actually I did it twice. September 95. So that didn't have you in February. September 95 and, sure. and November 2000. Why didn't you make it at all? I think you just... I turned them down. Fabricated this I whole said thing. no. Were you yeah, ever right. coming out that gay magazine? No. no. Why, why would you turn it down? I mean... I, I, I got it. I don't know. They just do it too. so classy. Like, I really don't believe you know. Rob when he was asked to pose for Playgirl. I'm sorry, but come on. I turned them down. Fabricated this I whole said thing. no. What self-respecting stud turns down an offer from Playgirl? So, Dave, did you know. ever do Playboy or anything? Oh, or yeah. uh, Penthouse or anything if you were offered? I went to uh, Penthouse. Would you? I would do Playboy. You do yeah. Why? Yes. Because Penthouse is Playboy. It's not my style. Really, so you like something more classy, just I like, like yeah, uh, I like, I like. To I, mean, I think you'd agree in Playboy. You really would. I, I like to leave a little something. Thank you. Yeah, That's definitely. Cool. So, would you do Playgirl? No. no. Why not? Wouldn't no. that be like sexy? The whole scientist thing with the little coat. Oh, you mean like yeah, like the glasses on? And yeah, like, like no, the no, 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 I can do it. You know, the little syringe and stuff. No, syringe. You got a little test, test tube. tube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I couldn't do it. It just it lacks integrity completely. And you know, for at least I, I can't believe I got to agree with Rob. But you know, dig it back to my family. I, you know, my head would be chopped. I would love to see that that big old Will with his lab coat on. I don't know what he's hiding. Why he? would be against it. Who will Denise cut next? I think Will's getting cut this round. Only because it seems like she's more into like some sort of male sexuality with the muscles. Tommy's definitely getting the boot this round. My biggest competition is Rob. I believe Tommy will no longer be with us for the evening. It's unfortunate because, you know, I like to pick on the guy. But Tommy, hasta luego, my man. See you later. Have a limit day. Denise going to eliminate next? Robert, Tommy, or Will? Okay, guys, it's the end of the second round, and um, I need to cut somebody. And I'm sorry, but Will, it's going to be you. Um, I like a guy that's really outgoing, and no. I think Playboy is really get hurt. And well, Playgirl's classy. Tears my arm. <laughs> right. Well, coming so, from three people up. that have no class. I'm actually a bit relieved. Why would you say that? Later, guys. Beat it. Scram. Class the lasagna. You know what? It doesn't bother me that he called me classless because, honestly, he was just so upset that I cut him, but he's a dork. Like I said, they're completely classless, you know. Playgirl, penthouse, playboy, you know what? I have a bit more integ integrity than that. When Will called us classless, I was hurt for maybe a hundredth of a second, and then I was over it. God bless you, because th at the rate you're going, you're going to have a miserable life. Round three, we stay at the brewery. You look absolutely stunning. I got you a little something gorgeous. Okay. Such a sweet Thank you. She was stunning. She looked more gorgeous than ever. I had to take back a step and just recollect myself. She looked excellent tonight. Like, wow, my God, she was amazing. She looked fantastic. The breasts were looking real nice. 
Um, we got to have a few cocktails. I got to get to know in detail a little bit more about their life. All right, guys. What, what do you guys, why do you think you guys, why do you think I picked you? What do you think that you guys have that have made you last this long, actually? Could what I answer makes this? you better than the other guys that I eliminate? I'll answer this for the both of us. First of all, we're well-built individuals. We take care of our bodies. Second of all, not speaking for Tommy so much, but I have an outgoing, charming personality. Um, I have nice little dimples, and I have a cute, innocent look. Now you're right about that. Yeah, well, that's true. This is true. He speaks for me as well. Why do you think that I shouldn't choose him? Shouldn't choose him? Yeah, why do you think that I should pick you? Because you need a full man. He's only half a man. He only stands 5'7". Yeah, and you're yeah, not half a man. You got an inch and a half for me? I'm six feet. I got a couple inches on you. Does that matter? I'm not like 3'2". I mean, you can either make love like to a dwarf. dwarf. Has it? A dwarf. You got what? Seven. I'm five eight. You're six foot. Four inches. Four inches, like is the world. Well, Four five inches. ten is the average height. You're below average. I'm above you average. Did? That's a fact. I understand. You know, you got that short man's disease, where every time someone says you're a short little man, you get a little hostile. He's six foot. I'm five eight. I don't think anything matters when it comes to what's down here. So. Hey, well, maybe, maybe the extra four inches I make up in the bedroom. Oh, uh, well. I don't think you can, oh, my yeah. man. Well, I, I think I, I might want to see this. Yeah, you can see it. November 2000, baby. You can't see him because uh, he well, chickened why out. Why did you bring the book? Oh, I chickened out. I have it if you want to see it. Rob was kicking me this garbage about, oh, this, that, and the other. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go get the magazine. Yes. Would you excuse me for one moment? Is this a timeout? <laughs> When Tommy left the table, he makes a mistake of giving me a long time alone with Denise. Which is the one thing you don't want to do when I'm in the company. And they need to see the goods, so I'm going to get them and bring them the magazines. You know what? I think my ex-wife would be proud of me right now. I'm standing up, right? So Tommy, leaving like that? Bad move, man. Don't let your ego get in the way, all right? One reason, that, why did you cheat on her? The reason that I cheated on her? The goods. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we got it. Good. That's not you. That is cool. After I seen Tommy's Playgirl centerfold, there's no doubt what I'd be getting in the bedroom. Come on, man. Did you see her face when she opened that magazine? Boom, like Santa Claus was looking at her. Will it be Robert or Tommy? Denise's final cut is next. Okay, guys, I must say this was a wonderful day. This, the date was fabulous. I enjoyed both of your companies. Um, but I gotta get rid of one of you. And I'm sorry to say, but Robbie, it's you. <laughs> Oh, I'm wow. sorry. It's just he brought me the rose. I think it's chivalry, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chivalry. You know what I mean? I'm Have sorry. a good night. Chivalry is not dead. Get a milk carton, man. A milk carton? We're only two inches. <laughs> Look at him. Denise's decision blows my mind. I don't understand it. The only thing that I could explain it with is pity. The poor man, he only this big. Rob was a really nice guy, except he really didn't <laughs> excite me. And I feel as though he really didn't you know, go out of his way for me like Tommy did. Denise, you would have had everything. You would have had everything a woman's heart desires. You would have had tenderness and care, sensitivity and passion, romance and lust. You would have had all that wrapped up in one simple six foot tall sculpted body of a man. So let me squeeze those oh, guns. Go let easy. me squeeze those guns, baby. What's up? Feel that six pack and squeeze those guns. Oh, oh.